Hi, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Shepard Tima. Uh, I'm still in a bow outfit. I said I'm fixing pixels. But let's get on with the episode. So, the list for today is Sheep House and Posties, as in post box place, uh, shipping, deliveries, stuff. Um, you know what I mean? So people can like drop off parcels and for other members. But the sheep house, obviously we did this last episode. It's still going. Everyone is getting sheared and it's going really well. We got a nice allowed We got a nice amount of things inside of the thing. Um which is good. But I think we're gonna start with the posties. Over at spawn. Actually, should we do it at spawn or should we do it at the shopping district? That is a great question. Because if we do it at the shopping district, I can charge people for delivery. They can have a free post box, but if they want delivery to their base, then they get charged. Interesting. Hmm. But if we do it at spawn, there's not really much space for it, is there? Uh, I mean, I could put it on a boat. I could put it on a boat here. Posties on a boat. Let's go see where I could put it in here. Yeah, I feel like the shopping district is going to be a much better idea. And I think I could cap off this space, maybe. Or maybe have it flipped and on this side and then just have a street going down here. Oh yeah, I may do that. Let's work out a design for the post box place thing. What's it called? Mailing office? Uh post office post office that's the one um let's find out a design of what we're gonna build for this and i will be back to you so guys i figured out a design and i've come back to get some resources we need to go over to the mesa and do some mining but i noticed something something we may need to be cautious of it seems as though we now have a friend Dear Shepard Tamer, I don't want to alarm you, but recently someone, I'm pretty sure it was those crazy villagers, kidnapped our beloved Shepard and imprisoned him in a smoke and lava filled dungeon. I've taken action against the villagers, but I fear that they will return and try to do something again. <laughs> Until this matter is resolved, you're the only one I trust. I know how much you too love Stuart. Thanks for being such a trusted friend. Love always, Grandma. <sighs> hey. Stuart, um, I want to say I'm sorry. Uh, everyone in my comments, they, they've been talking about how I shouldn't have done it. Um, and I've got to say, I, I don't have that much remorse. Um, but I guess, I guess you're a part of the furniture now. <sighs> I'm going to have to build you a house. <sighs> Fine. At some point, do it later, okay? Maybe tomorrow, maybe never. Let's just go to the Mesa. Crying out loud, Granny. So we're out here. Um, I'm just gonna get about two shulkers worth of this stuff, and then we're gonna dye it all into the cyan stuff. I don't need two shulkers now. I just wanna kind of have some prep of terracotta in case we ever need it. Um, I mean, we do need it for our roofing and stuff, so it may just be worth getting a load of this stuff ready type of stuff to make it nice and easy. But we are probably gonna do some streams and stuff with me getting all of this and making sure that we have enough to just go forward with things and stuff. I keep saying stuff, don't I? 
what's with me and stuff today but yeah i'm gonna get this done off camera get some resource gathering so that we can build this post office um and then i will meet you back in the shopping district to show you where we're gonna build the post office i will see you then so here we go we've got this here so where this birch is is the first block i'm going to place we're going to use this slot here i've left enough space to kind of make like a little path design coming down here in front of the rest of the shops um we've already got doggo tailors we've got uh the ye old chop shop here um and then we're gonna have the pups post that's what i'm gonna call it pups post um <laughs> it's it's not really a shop except for like the the gimmick of being able to do large deliveries um i'm thinking i may sell chests and stuff you know like when you go to a place and you like buy boxes type of thing um i might sell chests and barrels from here i think that might be a cool idea but yeah so let's get this built up <laughs> Well, here we go. So uh, it's actually been a while since I recorded the time lapse. I've done all of the interior. I thought I'd get this done off camera because I'm sure we've got more to do this episode. Um, I've gone with some like fluorescent Home Depot style lights. Um, you got deliveries and collections here for them to like come in and be like, hi, I've got a parcel to collect type of thing. I don't know. Um, then you've got the actual shop part, which is a diamond as stacked four barrels eight chests and then these are coming soon <laughs> and then if we go up one more you've got the actual post office part so i need members to drop off their heads um it also gives me a chance to see who doesn't have a paper hat and who does obviously that's a paper hood that we made for nightmare not nightmare cj i always get the mix up um but yeah so this is done it's all done I have a little bit of a chest monster. It's all done though. This looks amazing. Uh, my stuff is upstairs. Give me a second, need to get rockets. Rockets. Just give me, let's put them in there just in case. Some of that, some of that. Let's just take everything, why not? Why not take absolutely, oh, I love when I've got leg. And then the rest I'll just put in the inventory. There you go. Something happened with my sword. What just happened with my sword? Why did that happen? What is going on here? Did you just see all of that weirdness? Where things were just going in different places? Okay. Um, this is what it looks like. It looks beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Obviously the back doesn't have anything on it, nor do the sides. But I'm thinking if people want to like build a shop on the back of it, um, we could do like a little garden maybe at some point. But yeah, there we go. That is done. Donezo. I'm a telly toby. Um, but yeah, so let's head on to the next set of missions. We need to clean up this stuff first though. Let's clean it up. So we're going to get on and do the building here. As you can see, I've prepped the area to make it easier. 
and we got ourselves all of the materials we need to build one of these this is basically just gonna be that but like shortened okay it's just just gonna be two layers as opposed to the three that this one has and it's just gonna it, it's just gonna be there okay but yeah so this whole place is just gonna come together with different variations of the same builds all across the land but yeah let's get into the time lapse <laughs> Well, here we are. We now have this house set up and going. So I've got a little sheep wall cart thingy that the guy can like jump onto here, sit on and be like chuck, 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 and go to the market. And um, he's got a little workstation here, which allows me to go into the actual thingy, which is nice. But that's the house done. As I've said before, we aren't doing interiors for these. So I've just lit it up so that things don't spawn in here. Um, and I think this has come along really nicely for something that is literally, it's just an aesthetics build. Um, so it's kind of got the same style as this one here, um, but kind of like a, a shortened down version, a baby version, basically, of that house. Um, but what you may also notice is we've done a lot of work over here. And when did this happen, you may ask? Well, on streams. So on stream, we're working on getting this starter island and all of the finer details sorted out. Um, we built a greenhouse on stream, which I really love. I really love this greenhouse and how it's come along. Um, I wanted it to keep in theme with like the houses and stuff. So we used the blue and light blue glass. Um, and I think this has come along fantastically for what it is. And we've got like little flower basins everywhere. Um, we've got hanging lanterns as our light sources. I still need to put a load of these out. There's still a lot of places that need lighting. Um, we've got a target practice place, which is a joke that you guys may know um, from the Beardcore events that I can't hit a bullseye. <sighs> still didn't hit it. <clears throat> and we've also got some pens here, which will have animals at some point. I just was too lazy to get them. We're also going to be doing more stuff on other streams. Now you may be asking yourself, when are your streams, Shep? When are they? Well, they're not now. <laughs> Mr. Creeper, how could you? I was, I'm doing a, I'm doing a clip. Do you mind? Do you understand the importance of this? You broke my light. You broke my light. Let's just get rid of that for a second. We'll ignore everything that's happened. We'll go somewhere else and do this. Uh, when's your when's your streams, you ask? Well, our streams 
are the day after a video releases at the same time as the video releases. So that is Sundays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. BST over on twitch.tv slash shepherd underscore tamer. That's when we do the streams. If you follow the link in the description, um, it will take you to the Twitch channel where you can hit that follow button and get notified for each time that I get I go live because they're a lot of fun. We have a lot of audience participation. So this here was an idea that I think was put out by Lemongrass Jam. Um, and it just looks amazing. Then we've got that one over there that was done by Nightmare, I believe. And our next one, which is going to be the thing that goes where the grouper just blew up, is a fountain that was done by our one and only lovely Blondie. Um, so we're definitely having fun over there, and you guys should check it out. Please do head over to the Twitchels, the Twitches, the Twitch. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Let's just get on <laughs> with other things. I need to fix that hole. I'll be back. So that marks off the last thing. Oh, wait a second. That marks off the last thing we had to do today. It's going well. The last, the last bit of this clip. Uh, I don't want to explain all of these hours. I got to be honest. Um, last bit of this clip gone incredibly well, as these hours can tell you. I didn't reshoot this clip five times. Um, <laughs> We are getting so far along on this season. We've done so many things already. Just, just give me a second, all right. Done so many things already um, that have just gone so quickly. And I mean, look at where we're at on our base. Look at this. <clears throat> uh, wait for the cloud to stop. Look at it. Look at that part of the island. Look how mystical this looks with them floating lights that just sort of cascade around the thing. I want to put more over all of these fields and stuff. Just, just these turtles. These turtles sat here. Ah, oh, they're gonna forever be here. But yeah, it's just, it's coming together so nicely already. And I think in the next episode, we're likely going to have to make our, um, thingy over there which is a tree farm and a concrete farm and maybe start on the villages the villages might be the next part we have to do because i mean they're kind of useful to have i also not 100 percent sure that i want them but that that's a question for future ship does he actually want them <laughs> But yeah, I love this. I love that with these builds, I can be a bit manic with the roofs. I mean, look at that roof. That roof is just completely all over the place compared to that roof. <laughs> I just love what we're creating and how each build is completely different to each other, but they're all very similar in some way or another. I'm just so excited for what we're creating. But that does mean it's the end of the episode for today. My name's been Shepherd Tamer. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Good. Bye. Uh oh.